Beware of the following four acids. Okay. And, and we're not looking at it in terms of just these four. There are others, but we're just kind of trying to, to show the differences. H2S versus H2SO4. Hydrosulfic acid. What kind of an acid do we have here? Um, what do we call those? Oxygen? Nope. For the first types of acids. Binary. Binary acids. Okay, meaning they have two of them. We have a hydrogen and some kind of a simple nonmetal. Okay. And we use the prefix hydro. Okay? But here we have the polyatomic. So we have here an oxy acid. Okay? So we have the sulfate using the rule for the sulfate ion. The name is sulfuric acid. I C ending with the original polyatomic. Okay, another one. HCl versus HClO3. We have a binary acid, so binary acids make reference to a hydro, and it's a hydrochloric acid, as opposed to over here, which is a derivative of the chlorate, okay, which is known as chloric acid. Okay, notice when we use the hydro, okay, the hydro in introduction to it, or the hydro prefix, we use only for binary acids. Okay? And notice how in all of them the ending is acid. We're going to name the following acids and bases. Okay? So, if you get a chance to uh, copy this out, great. If not, don't worry about it. So let's take these up. So we have a CA and an OH. So right away we know this one is calcium hydroxide. calcium hydroxide. Okay. Now the second one, the next one, is a derivative of which polyatomic? Sulfate. Sulfate. But sulfate is SO4. This one's an SO3. So which, what is the name of this part at least? This SO3. We've lost an oxygen. So it's known as a? No, we're just looking at the, the polyatomic right now. Sulfite. Sulfite. Okay. And when we're naming it, it's sulfuric acid. O-U-S ending for the acids that lose, or for the polyatomics that lose the oxygen. Okay. HBr. Okay. This one is one of the binary acids. So with the binary acids, all binary acids start with hydro. And it's hydro bromic acid. And notice how we have the word acid in the ending. Okay. We don't have one for base. Okay. But for all acids, we name it with the, um, we say the word acid. H3PO4. Okay. The polyatomic that we're using is phosphate. Okay. It's the normal phosphate. So the name is? Oh, why is it not hydro? It's an oxy acid. Oxy acids don't have the word hydro to it. It's only for the binary. If it's got the polyatomic, you just name it with the IC or OUS and we add acid to it. Okay. The next one is SROH2. If you look at the periodic table, what's SR? Strontium. strontium. And is there more than one charge for strontium? No, so we just name it as strontri strontium hydroxide. Next one, HI is a uh, binary acid, so it's hydroiodic acid. Next one, we looked at this one before, it's a hydrosulfic acid, okay, binary. Notice how all the binary ones start with hydro. All the bases end in hydroxide. And all the polyatomics, well, we have to look at its derivatives. Okay, the next one, H2CO3, derivative of carbo um, carbonate. Okay, we haven't lost or gained any oxygen, so it's just carbonic acid, IC ending an acid. Next one, the base, because we have the OH, so it's aluminum hydroxide. Okay, 
Okay. Number 10 is also binary. Okay. So it's hydrochloric acid. Okay. And lastly, H2SO2. Okay. SO2 is a derivative of sulfate. But how but what's how has this sulfate changed? It's not sulfate. It's lost two oxygen. So if it's lost two oxygen, not sulfite. It's hyposulfite. So the name of this one is hyposulfurous acid. Okay? OUS, remember, it's the OUS ending if we've lost the oxygen. But we have hypo if we've lost two in the name of the acid.